test automation to test the functionality. We use such test interfaces, STM command, CSI bicycle, and also some hypercodes. It can cover the, cover the idle state, that is the C state functionality, runtime P state functionality, as well as some ACPI S state. Yeah, but the most important thing for the power testing is the power performance measurement, right? Now our testing can, can measure the idle power, the runtime power performance with a standard benchmark. Our power testing can cover the laptop server, the link handle windows. Yeah. Here is an example of our test result. Pretty nice, right? Another thing is about RAS. Yun Hong Jiang has already talked about RAS test, RAS MC handler yesterday. So our current focus is to test the MC handling. The challenge is how to achieve a good coverage for MC handler. You know, machine check exception is a hardware error. It's very hard to control. Our test method is we add test stub to the provider to dump page tests. And we also add the test stub support to translate the, the page address from guest to host. Then we use ACPI array injection to trigger specific CPU or memory and see to the pages. Then we can cover the handling code pass. But there is still something need to do. First is how to stress the testing. Here is an option. We can add more test interface to our MC handler. You know, Links already has such test interface. First is MC injector to trigger fake MC to test the low-level MC handler. In fact, then has already got such similar one already. Yeah. But links also provide I'm advised Cisco hardware point injector to test the high-level MC handler. Maybe we can add a similar one to our Zen hypercode. Yeah. And also we need to has some future feature like CPU migration, or memory call plan. Yeah. Okay, here is uh, for the VGG and SRI testing. The challenge is there are so many hardware, so many devices, so many platforms. So how could we make sure our VGG can work in fine? The methodology is we select typical test scenarios. We, we select the typical device to cover the different PCI type like PCI MSI or legacy PCI device. And how to do the automation? We select the network card. Then we, we do in the ping pong and also some file copy. And then we can test the single device alignment or multiple device alignment automatically. First press. Yeah. Okay. Finally, we have some proposals for the community to improve the the quality. First is about source control. We all in our testing. We always found, yeah, some functionality is broken. But after you root cause, what's happening? Yeah, for example, VTT. VTT is usually broken by the unsynced checking of Q. It's bad, right? Second thing is we need to enhance our bug tracking. 
Now, that magazine is full of obsolete bags, useless. There are about 500 bags in that magazine. They are currently marked as new. That means nearly nobody, no developer is looking on such bag. So, it's very bad. It's about 30% of the total number of the magazine. The last thing is about extend the testability. Yeah, you know, Linux, it's a trend for Linux kernel. Now, more and more test features are merged into Linux kernel. Very leak che checker of fault injectors as well as everything. So how about that? Yeah. That's all for my today's talk. Any questions? Chinese and English. Oh, okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a new feature of uh, RAS and uh, the CPU migration. It is. Uh, uh, there should be a spare CPU when the server is booting up. That means the CPU is not used. And when some CPU got errors, then a software can let all the contents on this CPU migrate to the spare CPU. That's the description of this feature. But for, the, but for the details, you might ask Yun Hongjian. He's the expert. Thank you, guys. <laughs>